Hi guys, my name is Sylvester Chueza, student with the Dreams Malawi Youth Project. As young as parents, girls and young women have to be empowered to fully meet their potential and realize to their uh, sexual and reproductive health rights in the community. Access to quality family planning services is the best weapon uh, to break the occurrences of teen mothers uh, before marriage in the community. Uh, in the project of Girl Rising in Potential, GRIP, I emphasized on the empowerment to teen mothers who are aged 16 to 18 years through a uh, provision of basic entrepreneurship skills in tailoring and catering services. Uh, teen mothers are the most sufferers of sexual and reproductive health rights violations. This is because um, teen mothers have little chances of going back to school. So when a girl has been a uh, impregnated or has an explained pregnant in the society her reputation is compromised she drops out from school so to this extent you find the girl is having nothing to do in the community therefore through a uh, provision of uh, quality health uh, family planning services uh, these women will have another chance of going back to school you know in our society if you have an unwanted pregnant it's something that can retard development uh, you find many things go, goes worse so it is also shameful to the community to have such uh, pregnancies so it is better to go for family planning uh, methods unlike caring for the whole pregnant a pregnant for the process of it to happen is something very expensive than just controlling it with one uh, portable stick of implant adolescents should have access to family planning uh, services they should be able to attend health talks on a voluntary basis even those in primary schools they should be able to be equipped with knowledge on family planning services so that uh, those people in the communities should be able to access them they should not be able to be traveling longer distances to access these family planning uh, resources but rather they should be able to access them wherever they are in so doing our uh, girls and teen mothers who, who have some fears on family planning services due to their culture and religious influence they will be able to come forward on a voluntary basis they will be able to go back to school they will also be able to complete their education attaining even paid jobs in the government sectors and with this it means they will also be able, able uh, to make informed decision on the number of children they are to have in their families it is therefore against this background that increasing access to family planning services to adolescents is investing for a lifetime returns.